Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna do yet another book review in collaboration with Pack Publisher. The title of the book is called Enhancing Deep Learning with Bayesian Inference. Now, when I saw the title, I found it very interesting because for me, I've been in the field for a couple of years. I've trained my own deep learning models before, but there's always certain roadblocks, certain bottlenecks that I found very challenging to get over that hurdle. And I've always asked myself, really, what is the reason here? And I believe that Bayesian inference could be the key to get past some of these hurdles, specifically when it comes to scalability issues, when it comes to in-sample, out-sample distribution, as well as how do you improve the fine-tuning experience of your model training process. So with that being said, let's start with the author. The first author is Matt Bennington. He is actually a principal research scientist at Sonus. He has decades of experience. And when I read his bio, it's actually kind of sweet because he actually dedicated this book to his family. So Matt, if you're watching this video out there, I just want to let you know that this book is not just a dedication to your family, but also the rest of us in the community. And I believe this is a great resource for all of us to keep learning and keep improving our understanding of deep learning models. The second author, Johan, he actually studies law and philosophy from Amsterdam. So when I read his bio, I'm just super amazed that not only did he have experience to put the models in production, but he's also super passionate about the uncertainties behind these model performances. So I think he's been a great contributor to this book. And me personally, I really appreciate that background, that perspective being in this book. The third and last author is Marian Schneider. Marian Schneider is an expert in computer science as well as computer vision. When I saw his work, I went online, I read a couple of his papers, and me personally, I've done some computer vision before. So when I read his paper on brain imaging segmentation, I found it super fascinating. And clearly, this guy has been contributing a lot in the literature. So definitely appreciate the author here to contribute to this book so that all of us can keep on learning and improving our understanding in this field. So with that being said, let's dive into the actual content of this book. First things first, I just wanna say, this book is really a refreshing of all of the foundational knowledge in statistics, as well as probability theory. So the book actually starts with Bayesian modeling, meaning that you have to understand prior, posterior, conditional probability, and that sort of thing. The book actually went into great details to discuss these theoretical framework and to set things up in terms of not just the terminology, as well as the foundational concept of where Bayesian inference even come from. And immediately dive into part one, you know for sure that you're gonna be a statistician. And that's great, right? Because it gives you a tool, it gives you the language to speak at a higher level when the book actually dives into deep learning models and have those discussions. And then the book doesn't just stop there, right? If you're gonna talk about statistics, you better have some sort of simulation, some sort of experiments going behind it. And that's precisely what the book is doing. So after the basic discussion of probability theory of Bayesian inference, let's talk about algorithm. And the first thing to introduce is obviously Monte Carlo simulation. And the book actually has complementary GitHub repo to show you the code in the Python environment. So one interesting thing following after that is the metropolis hasting algorithm. You simulate the data from some sort of proposed distribution. And then there's this acceptance region that can check to accept these observations if it falls under that threshold or reject otherwise. And then every time you repeat the experiments, you have some sort of a new parameter accepted and you just keep adding that to the chain, right? End of the day, you're gonna get some sort of results and then you can use that as a proxy for your posterior distribution. So something like that is interesting and it's actually a very famous algorithm to increase your understanding of Bayesian inference and the first example that the book shared is to use this algorithm to fit the linear regression model, which is something that I actually haven't really done before. Because when it comes to linear regression model, you just fit it using ordinary least square, right? And then you can find a performance using maximum likelihood. 
So I think what this book brings on the table is definitely something interesting, something novel that can help you improve your understanding. Another thing I really like about this book is that it really points out the limitations and drawbacks of every single topic that the book is covering. Like for example, in school, we talk about Gaussian process from any machine learning class. We say, hey, look, this is how the algorithm works. You do this and that, and then you're gonna get some sort of estimation of the uncertainty metric. Great, let's do that. But little did we know that this thing might actually fail in production, right? What that means is under high dimensional data, when you scale things up from daily user of 10 users to perhaps 100 million users, this thing will crash. So something like that is interesting. Something like that is worth to our attention. And that may or may not be something that you see in the experiments because in the experiment, things are relatively less scale. But when it goes in production, then something might crash. And then you're checking your code. You're like, okay, you know, where's this bug, right? I'm not seeing this bug anywhere. Well, maybe it's not because the code has a bug. Maybe your code is fine, but maybe this is the reason of the algorithm itself. And what I like about this book is it actually delves into those itty bitty details that can affect the performance of the scalability when you put the model in production. And one last thing I want to say about this title is that it really gives you a well-rounded understanding of applying Bayesian inference in common deep learning models. Like for example, we all know what a variational autoencoder is, but little did we know that there's also this thing called a base backpropagation, which is something very interesting, right? Because when it comes to base backpropagation, you're not just want to learn the parameters ways, you actually want to learn the posterior distribution of those parameters. So then maybe we need to talk about how do you initialize the parameters? You don't want to just randomly initialize and then fingers crossed, hope that thing converge, right? You want to take a look at the entire experimental setup. What is the prior? What is the potential posterior distribution? Let's work that out mathematically. Let's see if there's a close form. And what I'm reading from this book is you actually took ideas from literature and apply that in common popular data sets, such as MNIST data set. These are data sets that you and I can really just access using a Python IDE and immediately start to practice these ideas. And then one last thing I will say is this title actually has complementary GitHub repo to give you the Python notebooks so that you can not just read a book, but also use these Python codes to boost your understanding of these experiments and to follow the exercises behind the chapters within the chapters in this book. So with that being said, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next episode.